You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, NBC Days of Our Lives fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we want to talk about the new guy in town, Colin Bedford, and we want to discuss whether or not his behavior will actually get Sloane Peterson to drop her vendetta against Chanel Dupree and Paulina Price. Why would that happen? Well, we're going to tell you why we think it might happen. If you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Days of Our Lives spoilers news, casting updates, everything you need to know about Days of Our Lives on Peacock. So let's dig into this. There are some upcoming spoilers about Sloane confronting her brother and then Sloane telling Eric about her brother. So right now, Colin has been busted and this comes into play more. Xander Cook noticed that Biscuit Girl, aka the bakery girl, Talia, was coming in and out of the room at the Ratty Motel that he is staying at. And then he saw Colin there and asked him about her and then Colin acted all weird. And so Xander next week is going to pass this information on to Jada. And it seems like Sloan might hear about it soon, but Sloan won't be the first person to get to Colin if the order of these spoilers is correct. So Jada Hunter corners Colin and she wants to ask him what he knows about Talia because of course she's Talia's sister and she is terrified that Talia is the one that drugged the biscuits. She is increasingly suspicious of her sister, which good on her for her instincts because her sister is completely guilty. So Jada's trying to figure out why her sister would do this because she has no reason to dislike Chanel and Paulina or even Sloane for that matter because she knows where her sister's been and she's been in medical school and doing all this. And what she doesn't know is she had time to meet this bad boy. So Jada is going to grill Colin. She's probably not going to get very far with the guy since his sister's a lawyer. No doubt he knows a little bit about how to talk to police. And then Sloane is going to come confront her brother. Once Sloane knows her brother is in town, she is going to do the math on this because if Chanel Dupree and Paulina Price are being targeted by someone and it's not her and her brother's in town, well, duh, it's him because both of their parents are dead. If you don't remember the backstory, Chanel was brawling with their mother on the roof at the college because she had been having an affair with their dad. Of course, he should have known better. He was a professor. He was older than her and their mother should not have been wrestling with a young college student on the roof, but she went over the roof and Chanel maintains it was an accident and then Paulina paid to cover it up. So if you didn't remember, that's the source of the vendetta. And then a few months or years I think a couple of years after the mom died, the dad had drunk himself to death. So both Colin and Sloan are adult orphans, and they both blame Chanel and Paulina for what happened to them. So right away, Sloan is going to know that if it's not her targeting them, that it is him. And it's causing her a lot of problems because she is the prime suspect because she and her brother have exactly the same motive, background, (laughs) and, you know, probably even the same way of thinking. And she wants her brother to stop this and leave town. That's my bet because she knows if things continue, she's going to be in trouble. The only thing is they don't have any proof against her for any of this because she wasn't doing it. However, Colin's not going to leave and he's not going to stop. And as a matter of fact, he decides to focus on targeting Paulina while he continues to have Talia target Chanel. And there's more of that coming up this week. So he is not going to listen to Sloan. And the bottom line is the difference here, Sloan was pursuing payback and vengeance against Chanel and Paulina, but she was doing it through legal channels. She tried to have criminal charges filed. When that didn't work, then she went the route of a civil suit and trying to freeze their assets. And they managed to evade both of those. And if Sloan can come up with another way to make them pay through legal means, through a lawsuit, through some kind of law enforcement thing, I have no doubt she will do that. 
that seems very likely, but she hasn't crossed really that many boundaries. Chanel did what she was accused of doing, and Paulina did what she was accused of doing. Chanel did brawl with the woman, and the woman fell because of the brawl. Now, there obviously are a lot of nuances to this because she shouldn't have been doing what she was doing, and it, it's just, it's messy. But Paulina definitely paid people off to get her daughter in the clear. So actually, of the two of them, Paulina is probably more worth the of vengeance in this matter because it definitely sounded like she crossed lines to get her baby girl out of trouble. But the bottom line is Sloane's the older sibling and she may need to question herself on whether she is to blame for Colin being in Salem getting revenge. No doubt he knows that her attempts to prosecute and then to have a civil suit failed. So he may think, okay, well, my sister isn't getting revenge for our parents. I'm going to have to do it. And maybe Sloane will see that she has been a bad influence on her baby brother because now he is in a position where if he gets caught, he's going to be the one going to prison and it won't be Chanel and it won't be Paulina. And she is not going to want that for her brother. Already they both lost their parents. So all they have is each other. And if he screws around and gets sent up to Pentonville, then she's going to have lost her brother too. And she's still not going to have the revenge that they want. So my big question is, is once she realizes what Colin is doing and maybe why he's doing it and the lengths that he's going to, will Sloan decide that for the health and well-being of her remaining family, which is herself and her brother, she has to stop this. Not only does she have to stop this vendetta, but she's got to get Colin to stop it too. This whole situation should be a wake-up call to her that they've all gone too far. Now, now, there are upcoming spoilers for this week that after Sloane talks to her brother, then she talks to Eric about her brother. The big question is, is she simply going to tell him that her brother is in town? Or is she going to tell him, my brother's in town and I think he's doing these things? Or is she just going to say, I have a brother and he is really struggling with the whole Chanel and Paulina thing? So it probably, it wouldn't be like her to betray her brother by telling Eric. Eric, but she can also make Eric promise not to tell anyone. And as a former priest, he might actually keep it zipped. And they did decide that they're trying to be in a real relationship with each other. So she may want to open up to him about this, especially be if she decides that she wants to put her vendetta aside. So there's a whole lot to see here, a whole lot to unpack as we head into May Sweeps with this storyline. If you haven't already clicked the subscribe button, reach down, click that below so you don't miss any of our spoilers and updates. Let us know in the comments. A lot of people really seem to like the character of Sloan Peterson. For a newer character, she has a nuanced backstory. She's got a an interesting motive for what she does. Of course, she's gorgeous, but she's also got a lot of a lot of sass. She's very distinctive. The actress Jessica Serfati is doing a bang up job. I do wonder if Colin is going to stick around. And he's a cutie patootie, and it would be interesting to have her brother in town as her foil. And they can certainly use some new blood on the show, but we'll have to wait and see. I, My knee jerk is I don't think that he's going to stick around. I don't know if Jasper Newman is on contract or recurring, but I do hope that Sloan sticks around. And since we've seen a leaked script for something in December with her in it, we know she is still filming. And so that's exciting news. Stay tuned to Days of Our Lives as we dig deeper into May Sweeps, and you'll see a whole lot more of this Sloan and Colin vendetta against Chanel and Paulina. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.